Hello and welcome to Raid Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good. No complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Babes or Dumo is too hot to handle. So Gom musician Babes or Dumo has been dumped by her manager Keke Mukwen according to the latest reports. Now those reports do go on to say that they have a source that is close to the situation that claims that Babes or Dumo is unmanageable surprise surprise i mean i, I put up my hand I, I i didn't see this one coming <laughs> but yeah uh, nonetheless like i was saying you know keke has confirmed that she is no longer managing babes or Duma. this is the statement that she put out i guess my managing style is not compatible with her as an artist I will ask the question like whose management style is compatible but I suppose more on that later. Uh, she goes on to say, unfortunately I can't reveal details of our working relationship due to confidentiality clauses in our contract. Quick question to those that you know do contracts and that are lawyers, don't these confidentiality clause kind of expire after a set given amount of time or perhaps maybe if that is not the case you know a leak would be nice. But moving right along from that, it does seem that Babes Dumo has already found a new manager. Uh, according to the report, Sibu Siso Mkune is said to be managing Babes Dumo. Now, Sibu Siso Mkune was actually the one who reportedly was behind Babes Dumo swearing at Mampinche's mom in the evening. So that is his type of managing style for those that are curious. But yeah, apparently Spusiso said the following to the papers, I am now managing both Mampincha and Babes Dumo. We were working with Keke for the past few months and as West Inc records, we are not aware that she's no longer with us. Unfortunately, I cannot comment further until I get the full story. That is the actual statement from Spusiso. So the new manager doesn't even know that the old manager is no longer with them, but uh, they were working together. So... Yeah, I know this guy as a manager, man. I mean, I can't judge. I'm not a manager here at Red Life. But if I was him and a manager here at Red Life, I would have been fired a long time ago. But yeah, moving right along from that and getting back to what the source in the article said. The source said the following. She has too many advisors who want nothing good for her. Her lack of professionalism damaged their working situation and for that reason they parted ways. So that is what the source has kind of given us a little bit more information as to what could have happened to the previous manager, what the reasons as to why they left. Now the source also went on to say that Babes Duma would often do things without consulting Keke. It is also alleged that when Babes Dumo was to release her EP Crown on Friday, the 10th of December, Keke was not even aware of this. The source went on to say her manager only found out via social media that she had a new release. This did not sit well with Keke. Her manager was also not happy with her recent PR stunt. She felt it was degrading to Mampinche's mother and damaging to Babes' brand. She felt her reputation as a manager was also compromised. <laughs> Look, for me, KK walks away from Bezo Dumo with clean hands. I mean, we're going to even overlook all the past blunders that Bezo Dumo has done under her, under the guidance of KK. But uh, as long as you, you know, there's a line that KK seems to kind of draw, and that is swearing at Bampincha's mom. So at least KK has a line. <laughs> And now do keep in mind that Babes Dumo did apologize and said that it was a publicity stunt. But uh, yeah, you know, apparently, according to the reports anyway, Mampinche's family are said to be thinking of taking legal action against Babes Dumo, Which, of course, as we all know here on Red Live, will probably be settled out of court. <laughs> But yeah, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Israel Zulu isn't ready to talk. So actor Israel Zulu has had his leg amputated according to the reports and this is due to his struggle with gangrene. Now according to the news reports that broke it over the weekend, the Gomorrah actor had his right leg amputated. Now in the past, Israel Zulu had opened up about his struggle with gangrene and announced that it is due to the illness that he actually left Mzansi Magic's drama series, Gomorrah. 
And fast forwarding to this past weekend, there were news that his right leg had been amputated. Now, it seems like the papers actually recently reached out to him, you know, trying to get a comment from him. Now, he apparently told them that he was not ready to talk about the amputation. He's quoted as saying, I don't know who gave the people who wrote the story about me the right to, and I know that you guys work in newspapers and you write about famous people and can write whatever you want, but I wasn't willing to speak about it and I'm still not willing to speak about it. I am not ready to talk about it yet. I don't want to lie. So yeah, judging from those statements that were on the particular article, it does seem that uh, he is going through a hard time. I'd assume that mentally as well. You know, he might not be yet ready to talk about it mentally and he's probably still recuperating physically as well. But yeah, we definitely do wish Israel Zulu a speedy recovery. Am I the only one who actually kind of pictured Israel Zulu, you know, when they were asking him for a comment about his leg being amputated, saying, Our next topic, Somizi says, enough is enough with Ali Boy's lies. So Somizi has found himself on that trend list and this time it is because of, I quote what Somizi says, is lies from a guy that is called Ali Boy. Now the story is basically this, Ali Boy apparently lied about Somizi wanting a sexual favor for him to actually do a gig. Now Somizi has come through, you know, Somizi came through, posted some screenshots for days, like lots and lots of screenshots. He's got all the files, all the receipts, everything personally, you know, I mean at this point I kind of believe Somizi, this guy is kind of lying about Somizi. It's probably a case of blackmail i mean i'm gonna just put it out there that i honestly 100 believe so Mizi. he's got screenshots screenshots for days man i mean so Mizi came through packing right yeah uh, no puns intended. But yeah, apart from that, Somizi actually does go on to clarify everything in a lengthy video, which I think will kind of give you a better picture as to what is going on. So let me play that video that Somizi posted on social media. Hi everyone. Um, There's something that I need to address that is really troubling me. And I hate it. Why? Why do people always want to take advantage of other people by blackmailing them or manipulating them and stuff like that. So here's the story. There's a guy, Ali, he's called himself Ali Boy. I've known Ali for more than two years and me and him, we've been chatting and it ended up us flirting and talking, you know, everything flirtatious. I want him, he wants me and stuff like that. But then Ali has a company that he runs and then he posted a flyer with my picture on it and my name saying I'm going to be a judge. And I confronted him, I said, Ali, you can't do this without my permission and da da da. And then he said, So means I'll pay you, we'll sort it. I said, No, you can't because my management is now cheating on me saying, Why? What are you doing? Then six months down the line, on Sunday, I see the poster again. Then I confronted him, I said, Ali, you need to remove the picture or pay me. And then I said, You have to pay me by Monday, or else I'm going to post something that says I'm not a part of it. And then he's like, oh, you're threatening me now. Da, 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 da. I said, no, I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you. Then he did not respond on Monday. Tuesday, I posted, I'm not a part of this. Then now he goes on TikTok saying that I am angry because I wanted him to have sex with me. And I was like, okay, even if I wanted to, what does that have to do with the professional side of things? And I've got texts of us talking to each other, flirting with each other, back and forth, and consensually so. But that has nothing to do with the professional side of things. Does, so now he's blackmailing me, saying he's going to expose me, that the reason why I posted that is because I'm angry. I have long passed that phase. Long passed that phase. Now he's claiming he's not gay and blah, blah. I don't care. But I will not sit here and allow people to tarnish my name and, and, and making me as if I wanted sexual favors from him so that I can do the gig. No. It doesn't work like that. And I am not going to allow. It's enough is enough. Like enough is enough. And now he's posted on TikTok with voice notes and stuff like that. I have texts that I'm not even going to go there. But I'm just making it clear that one, I'm not scared of you trying to... I'm an adult. I can flirt. And if someone flirts back or we can chat, it's an adult conversation. I'm not preying on someone who doesn't want to. He was a part of it. But now he's blackmailing me, saying that the reason why, that's not the reason. The reason is that you are a scam, you defraud people, and you, you want me to be a part of it just because maybe you, you, you were trapping me by flirting with me and I flirted back. Well, it worked, but I am not going to keep quiet as if I did the gig or wanted to do the gig for a sexual favor. Hell to the no. I refuse. 
I am doing so well for myself right now. I stayed in my corner. My name has been tried and tried and tried to be tarnished. And now it is the end. I am never ever going to allow anyone to take advantage of me. It ends here. Done. Done. Huh? So yeah, there you have heard it from Somizi himself. Enough is enough. And uh, I personally don't think that Somizi needs, you know, to ask sexual favors for him to be part of gigs. I mean, it's probably at that point where you'll probably be offering him sexual favors for him to do come through at your gig. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, you know, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Somizi's video and him, you know, subsequently coming through with all the files, like files for days, screenshots, screenshot after screenshots. I think he might've duplicated some, but uh, I think it was trying to be very thorough but yeah that is the end of the video now if you did enjoy the news please do me a huge favor share it with your family your friends and your enemies confuse the hell out of everybody and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to real live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos